Pass Astorello and Schiffauer knocks it away. It's trickling off into the backcourt. Schiffauer picks it up and then slows it down to Thomas. Thomas enters into the lane, picks up the dribble, gives it to Bell, another three. This one's good as well. Clarissa Bell with back-to-back -back threes and the Spartans have a 9-6 lead. I mean, I'm proud of our group. I felt like we were all for one, one for all kind of again from the coaches to the players. It was just nice just to have some fun playing a sport that we should all love and be excited about. And it sounds so silly and so simple, but it just, that's what we tried to do. Spartans leading by one. They had an 11-point halftime lead. Just over nine to play in the ball game. Kiana Johnson to pick roll, left wing three, buries it. Big time three to quiet the crowd. He lobs it up top to Thomas, who snags it near the top circle. Five seconds shoot. She spins and goes up with the right hand and bakes it home. What a take by Jasmine Thomas. Spinning through the lane, she has 15 points tonight. The Spartans will win this one, 68-61. Their first win against a ranked opponent this season. Biggest win of the year for the Spartans. They bounce back after their toughest loss of the season against Ohio State on Monday. That's the team that we've been, that was like, that's the team both sides of the ball. Just competing and fighting and talking and finding ways and just huge. So we give roses to the other team seniors just because one, I think it's a classy thing to do. And uh, two, it's, it's, you know, we're going to honor our seniors, so why not honor the other team seniors? It's the last time they're going to be playing in Breslin, and it doesn't take much to walk over and hand them a rose. And I think, you know, certainly we want to show great sportsmanship, and I think it's a positive way to do it. Johnson onto the floor, Tracy Nogle headed towards the bench, and she will get a big round of applause here. And gets a big hug from Susie Merchant just in front of us, making that first start on senior night. Schiffauer offensive board finds her way to Mills, who banks it in off the glass. Schiffauer was triple teamed and just got rid of it. Deanna Johnson takes the other way. Pickerel drives left baseline, floats it up and in. Hand off for Bell, around the screen, up in the lane, goes up and in off the glass. Nice take by Clarissa Bell. Four points oh, What a steal by Keanu Johnson. And she banks it in. What a great job by Johnson taking away that inbounds pass. Bounces it down low, Mills, working the lane, spins, hook shot up and in off the glass. And Becca Mills headed the line to try to complete the three-point play. Spartans win on senior day. Michigan State 54, Wisconsin 48 in front of a huge crowd at the Breslin Center. The Spartans complete the regular season 22 and 7, 10 and 6 in conference play. What a great way to close out the year and what a fine, fine performance. And of course, again, the seniors from Michigan State really stepped up. It's a monumental thing. It's, it's a milestone in their lives. They came in here four years ago, some five for Schiff Hour situation, but you know, just to watch them lean down and kiss the Spartan head in the middle of the floor and knowing that they've given everything they have to, in front of their fans as much as they possibly could to get victories. You know, it, obviously it represents a time for them too is that the future is, is coming and there's still more basketball to be played, but certainly that they're getting to a point in their lives where they're gonna head out into the world and, and make a name for themselves. 
and um, you know, we're really proud of them. And so we really want to celebrate everything they've brought to this institution, to the athletic department, and certainly to our program. Freshman year, you come in, you don't ever think the state's going to come. But um, on behalf of us seniors, I want to say thank you to everyone. Um, it's a day to celebrate the seniors, but we could not be here without our teammates and our coaches. So I want to say thank you to all you guys first. Um, we have had a great four, um, well, Grandma Mad Dog over here has had five, but um, <laughs> great many years here at Michigan State, and to go out playing in front of 14,024 people is unbelievable. So thank you to everyone that came tonight. And uh, the last thing we want to say is the season is not over, so... We play in Chicago this weekend. We hope everyone's still supporting us, and go green. I love the fact that you're put in a situation where you can get to a place where it is about surviving and advancing, yet it doesn't end your season quite yet. So it starts to prepare them a little bit moving forward, where if you don't win this game, you're not going to play another day. Um, so I like that part of the Big Ten tournament, and it is nice to go there knowing that you're in the NCAA tournament and you can just go out there and just really experience and, and try to battle and compete. But I'm, I'm really appreciative of the fact that you can get into that survive and advance mode and know that it doesn't end your season. And there is no doubt that there is no one better in this country to lead our program. We are top 10 in attendance. We have had over a decade of 20 win seasons. We have gone to the postseason in either the WNIT or the NCAA. We've had classroom performances of over a three point. We do it by honoring the rules and we're very committed to compliance. So when you think about leadership, again, an individual can make a difference, a team can make a miracle. We're in great hands. Please welcome our head coach, Susie Merchant. Hey, and tomorrow, I don't care if we play the Hoosiers or that other team, I'm not sure who it is that's in the other bracket there who we have to play, but I promise you this, that we will play to win that game and we will fight and we will compete and we're really, really looking forward to the challenges ahead. So we appreciate all of you very, very much. We hope that uh, you enjoy the rest of your time here in Chicago and can cheer us on all the way through to Sunday. That's the goal, that's the plan, that's what I packed for. you guys all the way through the weekend so that's our goal that's our plan so thank you all very much for coming out and uh, we're gonna go kind of take a break and watch and figure out who we're gonna play and maybe throw our guys game on there a little bit too so god bless you thank you very much go green Well, there's a tremendous amount of support in Spartans over in the Chicagoland area. There's no question about that. And so for us, where we felt it the most was certainly on game night. Um, you know, the venue was a little bit different in terms of where all the hotels were and the distance to the facility compared to in the past at Indianapolis. But, you know, the biggest thing is that they're there on game night and you can feel their energy and their enthusiasm. And we felt it obviously playing the night game on Friday night gave a lot of local area fans and Spartans a chance to come out. 13 and a half to go in the first. Bell catch and shoot three. Buries it from the left wing. Rotated around to pick roll. Bob down low, Hines, who goes up and banks it home. She was all alone as Nia Jordan, the defender, had fallen down. The biggest thing was how well we performed in the game. I mean, it wasn't a contest really from the tip. I felt like we were in complete control of that game. It was never in doubt or question. Um, I think our kids you know, were obviously disappointed in the one point loss at their place. 
we know we did not play well defensively and they really broke us down off the dribble. So we were very focused on defending some of those kids off the bounce and Kate Thompson got away from us in the first seven minutes of that game. So I thought Clarissa was very, very good defensively against um, Kate Thompson was our leading scorer. And our team just came out maybe because it was Michigan and we wanted a little bit of redemption. We feel good about the fact that we won the series and we were able to redeem ourselves from that one point loss. two hours of sleep and you just that's just what you do in the postseason to prepare your team and it is about the grind in this business and uh, you know when you have back to back to back opportunities you don't have a lot of time and all you get is the 8, 10, 12 hours before the kids wake up and you got to have a game plan so you know the positive thing is you've played some of these teams before the negative thing is you've played some of these teams before and what do we have to do different what are they doing now that they weren't doing um, you know, especially with Penn State, if we were to play them, certainly, you know, the, their high-powered offense was something we were really worried about. And quite honestly, with their hard hedges um, offensively, when they were on defense, we had to be able to knock down some shots. So we chose not to take our shoot-around time and really just kind of focus on how we were going to defend a few things that I thought got away from us in the game at their place. Semi-finals game. Spartans try to earn their first bid into the finals since 2005 when they won their only title. Jasmine Thomas with a three. Knocks it down from the left corner. That's a big time three. And Mo, Jasmine Thomas is playing the best basketball of her career over the last six ball games. Back over to Lucas in the right corner in front of the Spartan bench. Guarded by Clarissa Bell. She spins left. Double team is taken away by Clarissa Bell. Nice defense by the Spartan junior. Lady Lions quickly into the front court. Firing a pass down low to Nixon, who goes up, rimming no, offensive board, put back no, blocked by Becca Mills, and then Annalise Pickrell picks up the loose ball. She goes around the screen, pulls up left of the lane, missed the jumper, a bit strong, rebound tipped out to Becca Mills, floats it up, that rattles home. Becca Mills with four points. A nice job of the Spartans capitalizing on that offensive board. They trail by nine, 16-7. Thomas puts it on the deck along the left baseline, up and off the glass and in. And the Spartans are to within one possession. A block working on Hines, goes up and blocked by Jasmine Hines, knocked out of bounds. Spartan basketball. Courtney Schiffauer gives it to Becca Mills, who triggers up a three. Yes! Becca Mills from the right wing. She's got seven points, and the Spartans trailing by one, 21-20. 19-15 to go in the ball game. Mills left wing, skip pass from the corner for Schiffauer, puts the ball in the deck, in the lane, swoops up, off the glass, and in. First lead of the ball game for the Spartans. Michigan State with the basketball inside. Hines, double team, kicks it out. Mills, free throw line jumper is good. Great job by Mills distributing, and the Spartans have a 26-24 lead. Will Maggie Lucas, wide open three, no good. And the rebound corralled by Jasmine Thomas. She out jumped Nikki Green the other way. Pick roll up to the right and finishes with the right hand. Defense for the Spartans today has been great. Lucas underneath, guarded by Pickrell. Great job, she stands her ground. Lucas can't get it free, and a jump ball. Maggie Lucas on the right wing, around the screen. Now she's got Hines on her, top of the key. Let's see if she takes advantage. Watch Tries that drive on Hines, steps back for a three. Missed it, little left. Jasmine Thomas has the rebound and a foul called. That one going on Ariel Edwards. And gives it to Jasmine Thomas on the far side. Steps inside, hand off Jasmine Hines. Goes up and banks it home. Jasmine Hines has been fantastic in the tournament. 24 seconds left. Spartans trying to knock off the Big Ten regular season champs. 
Second free throw up and good. Off the front of the rim, no good. Hines with the offensive board. Jasmine Thomas will dribble it out for the Spartans. They are headed to the finals for just the second time in program history. What a victory for this team who has come so far after they had those three season-ending injuries at the beginning of the season, and the Spartans are headed to the Big Ten Tournament Final. JT, down the stretch, you made some hilarious. Wow. were in the balance it was like oh okay you know so really 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 good job okay I'm very proud of you guys to hold them 22 percent it was remarkable I mean they were just absolutely ever I felt like every kid on that team was a warrior that day it was a Spartan warrior through and through they were gonna do their part and everybody raised their level just a little bit it didn't matter if you played eight minutes 18 minutes 28 38 you were gonna give it everything that you had till the point of exhaustion and I was very very proud of our group I mean to watch Clarissa Bell fight through most of those screens until Maggie at the very end and there the game was already over started to shoot a little bit I mean she just locked that kid down I mean I thought defensively keeping people off the boards Jasmine Hines was amazing defensively all-time titles with eight. Michigan State looking to earn their second title in program history, 24-7 and 10-6. And Osterello and Mills are in center court. The ball is tossed up in the air. The tip is won by the two Purdue Boilermakers, and here we go, the Big Ten Tournament Finals. The one thing that um, you know I told the girls um, when we got back at it was I think we're, no question, made for the NCAA Tournament. First of all, if we can play three straight days like that, um, two amazing performances against top teams uh, and now we're going to get a day in between to rest and prepare and that our defense in both those situations did the talk and as long as our defense is there, as long as our commitment to that side of the ball is there, we're going to be prepared, they're going to know what to do and we just come out as an aggressive and attacking mode, I like our chances. Fifth hour, crossover dribble, back out to Mills, catch and shoot three. Airballed it, catch and put back up by Jasmine Thomas, right place, right time. And the Spartans are onto the board first in the second half. They trail 33-16. Didn't go for the three, instead back to Hines after reposting. She goes up with the right hand and lays it home. That got the Spartan contingent up and slowly again chipping away, down to 14 now. Time tries a three. Got it. Nothing but net with a hand in her face. And Jasmine Thomas is having a real solid second half again. Eight seconds to shoot, down low Mingo, and she traveled. Mingo had 14 first half points, has just two in this second half. And again, the Spartans with another opportunity to cut it down to single digits. Hopefully it gives us the respect that we deserve and these kids deserve, most importantly. I mean, I think they certainly could have taken the hall pass that was given to them. Uh, they probably, you know, could have chose to have been a sub 500 or maybe a 500 team, but Man, where there's a will, there's a way, and the group of seniors, um, obviously the kids that were more in complementary roles, really wanted to, had something to prove, and uh, it was, it's just been enjoyable. It hasn't been easy, it's been a struggle, and it's been a fight, and we've played well, and we've played not so well, but I've just been really proud of the fact that through it all, they're going to play defense, and they're going to compete, and they're never going to give in. So if they do those three things, I think, you know, hopefully people out there that watch our program appreciate that. Maggie Lucas with a three. No good, too strong. Thomas tips out the rebound, quickly up to the rack with the right hand. She lays it up and in. Spartans up by 10, 40 seconds to go. You may not be able to see me, but I don't know. Thank you so much, I'm so happy. And I mean, this is like the biggest surprise in the world for me. Thank you so much, I love you guys.